Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. My name is Didi Tayutu for the newcomers. And in today's video, this is a TA video. There will be a family video later today as well. But in this video, we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price because Bitcoin is on the move. And we are going to look at the four hour chart. We are going to look at three other really cool charts that is going to show us the direction of Bitcoin. No, we are not finished yet in this bull run. And I'm going to show you why we are not finished. Also, taking a a short look at the news as some really cool stuff uh, is happening all of this yes shut down the telephone and um, all of this in the short as possible video because i know that you love to watch seven to eight minute videos let's jump into the first chart the four hour bitcoin chart this one no, bam no. This is a four hour chart, guys, as you know, and we have been looking at this chart already now for some time. Um, it's a very clear chart. We are again moving in this huge channel, this upward channel. Yesterday, we broke out above this green line, and normally we should go going up and come back and retest maybe this red line somewhere around 56 before we explode to the upside. That is what Bitcoin normally do, does when we break out of these patterns. The target for me is still minimum this midline, which would be 66,000 US dollar at the moment, which is higher than the previous all time high. So that would be a new all time high. And, and, it, and I expect that that is going to happen, guys. Yes, maybe we will go even higher. We don't know yet for sure. But first, normally when Bitcoin explodes like bam this, we should have a small uh, pullback before we go back. But let's see, you know, we never know in Bitcoin because the news is like bullish as fuck yes i said fuck because the news is bullish as fuck the long trade here with the bam bam indicator yesterday could have been a good trade again we already traded this one from there to there we exited the trade over there we could have entered the trade over there i didn't yet but this trade is a four hour trade the candle is closing above this yellow stepping line we will show you again so that you understand the bam indicator the blue line is crossing the white line to the upside the white line is also moving upwards at that moment the white line was as 56 you can see that over here so that level could still climb to 80 that is where the white line goes mostly um, yes we could also see in the margin call there's a lot of green area which is very positive and also the TikTok indicator told us uh, we were not going red bearish we were staying bullish we were turning green again so that's a triple confirmation to take that trade if we would have taken that trade that would have been a very good trade because again that trade would have let's say you take it a little late till here now five percent with a leverage of 10 50 percent so this was a 100 percent trade 50 percent trade just in a couple days trading the bam bam indicator but that's enough promotion for bam bam again but you know i want you guys also to be able to trade with profits and to learn to shut off your uh, emotions and to trade without emotions by listening to bam bam tiktok and all the other indicators that do all the calculation for you but let's take a look at the weekly chart i will keep looking at the weekly chart because you know that i find it really important that this nvt stays red it is still red very positive i am now looking at this one is this one going to cross over is the blue going to cross over the red line and means that it's going upwards because that is very important we want to see that as well very important chart now bam <laughs> i want to show you um, three other no two other really cool charts and three news items that i think is really important for the industry uh, let's start with the first really cool chart that i'm going to explain to you this one bam and this chart of course you all know this one this is plan b stock to flow chart and on this chart we can see what is happening at the moment um, at the moment, we are exactly in between 2013 and 2016, the moves 2017 uh, bull run and, you know, the 2013 bull run. We can see that the 2000, um, 
you can see the colors of the lines. The dark line is a 2016 to 2020 bull run. The dark blue, sorry. Uh, the red line is the 2020 till now bull run. And you can see the light blue, that one is the 2012 to the 2016 bull run. These are all the runs after the halving. So this is the moment of the halving and then the run. So we can see that the 2016 to 2000, like, uh, 18 high over here, it took 19 months to reach the top after the halving. And the top was on this area over here. So here. We can see in the old bull run, 2012 to 2016, that four year cycle, the top was reached after 12 months over here. After 11 months, we were at this level in the 2016 bull run. And we were at that level in the 2012-13 bull run. So we are now in 2020, after the halving, moving exactly in between. Which would mean, if we would be keep following this, this line, this, this model, a little bit pullback, a little bit up over here, that this bull run could end exactly in the middle of these tops. So that would be somewhere over here, yeah, here, which would be after 16, uh, after 16 months. So this one was after 19 months, this one was after 12 months, then maybe in between after 16 months, we could reach a top. And the top could be in between the 100K level that we can see over there, or this level over here which is like 300k and that is what we are expecting so if we could break this one it would be 100k and that could be the top around 300k or 288k that is what plans b stuck to flow model is predicting really cool chart do i have another chart for you guys yes i do have another chart this chart really important chart this is the website um, glassnode and um, this is the bitcoin realized hodl ratio like you can see every time we saw a top this was the top in uh, 2011 this yellow line is in this red area this is the top in 2013 this is the pre-top i need to be sure need, need to be very clear the pre-run this is the top in 2013 and this red and yellow line is again in this beautiful red box 2017 we saw the same the yellow line was in this red box now 2021 we are not even near this red box which could be an indication that if we look at this level over here that we are now at this moment somewhere in the run because if we are at this moment in the run we still need to have this huge run and this was a huge run in price that was the move from a price of fifteen hundred dollar to twenty thousand dollar if we have this level if you look at 2013 you know we can't really compare it now because you can't see the price exactly but that was just the beginning that was the level of which we pull back before we went into this insane bull run again so in my opinion this chart is showing that we are quite not there we have some time to go and this chart here, bam, this one is say, saying the same. It's shouting to me here, 2011 and 13, we were high in these yellow levels. We were almost touching the 60 over there. Here, we were still very high. There was a 2017 bull run. And this level was around 20 over there. 60, you know, 20. It's, it's huge levels. So now we are only here. This is nothing. We are, we are at a level of one point, what is it, seven or 3.6 now? And, and now we, we were here at 0 0.9. We, we need to increase tremendously. This was the bottom over here, you can see, this, this yellow area. This was the bottom, you can see, this area. We are just starting to run away from that bottom. We are not even close to, to reaching this huge top over there. 
Um, so let's see how this will develop. In my opinion, um, the bull run is just in the middle. We are just in the middle of the bull run. We still need to go way, way, way more higher than that. Let's quickly jump into the news. I want to keep the video short. Really important news. PayPal is going to allow crypto payments for all 29 million merchants. This means that a lot of people are going to use or are able to use Bitcoin now for doing payments. And if they want to do payments with Bitcoin, they need to buy Bitcoins. And yeah, where do they buy Bitcoins? For example, at PayPal as well. This is only for US customers. Soon they will also move to Europe and open uh, Bitcoin and Europe up to PayPal users in Europe. Really bullish news in my opinion. This one, the DeFi wallet links Aave, Uniswap and Compounds now straight to the banking accounts. I think the uh, project is called Dharma SDK. They can now connect any Ethereum protocol to the wallet, which means users can send up to 25,000 US dollars from their regular bank account into the DeFi projects all over the world, like, like Aave, Uniswap, Buren, Compound. This is huge. This means people um, now can leave their banks where they have a z uh, minus uh, 0 0.5 interest, a negative interest, and now move their money very simple into a DeFi project where they can stake and get like 4 to 15% of um, return on investment of the, on their money. Huge news. I think this is bullish. I think people will read about, uh, uh, read through this news, but don't understand that how many money now can flow in a simple step into the market. Most people always are like afraid. One second, I'm going to show you one more news, by the way. This one, Slam FM. It's a Dutch uh, radio show, one of the biggest radio stations in Holland. They are going to give away a Bitcoin. You need to watch or listen. <laughs> you, you listen radio, you watch television, but you need to listen uh, the radio channel the whole month, and then you can have the chance on winning one Bitcoin. Really cool news. Um, I wanted to say a little bit more about this one here, the DeFi uh, industry, but that I'm going to keep it short, guys. I'm going to keep it short because the easier it becomes for people to move their old money into this new money, the more volume we will create into cryptocurrency. That is how it works. A lot of people are afraid to use all these different steps or exchanges or Coinbase or all these, you know, uh, um, software solutions we at the moment have. A lot of those are just too difficult for all people to understand, for generation, the boomers and all these people. If they now can start to use their bank account directly by the family token, you know, on, on Uniswap, you know, because people now can, my, my grandmother can now use their, her bank account to buy family tokens on Uniswap. The more connection there will be to flow old money into the new money, the bigger the demand will be for cryptocurrency. We don't have a huge supply, uh, no supply, huge demand means that the price is going to increase. That was everything for this TA video today. Hope you really enjoyed it. Hope you really enjoyed my beautiful Bitcoin t-shirt as well. Um, I wish you an amazing day. Uh, if you did like the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, uh, hit, the certification, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified on every video. And please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching. And maybe enjoy the next video today as well. That one will be about mindset and family. And yes, we moved again to a new apartment, but this is the one we are going to definitely stay for the next 30 days in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bam!